When you think of high school wrestling, you think of pins and takedowns, and you probably think of guys, not girls. But when Baldwin High Teen is proving the sports, not just for the fellas. Avery Braxton joins us in studio with more. Yeah, Catherine Mullis is what you'd call a modern day warrior, but she has much higher fighting aspirations than just high school wrestling, thanks to a special relationship with her dad. Catherine Mullis remembers the first time she ever stepped on a wrestling mat. My dad woke me up one morning and said, get up, you're going to wrestling practice. While that might seem like a strange request from dad to daughter, it's all a part of the Frank and Catherine Mullis master plan. I've wanted to do MMA since I was, gosh, five years old, since before they were letting women to the UFC. I was like, I'm going to be the first woman in the UFC. She was born, uh, born literally watching UFC because I was watching UFC videos as uh, her mother was giving birth to her. And mixed martial arts stayed on Catherine's brain. Thanks to coaxing from dad, Catherine added wrestling to her repertoire at Baldwin High School, and she's dominating. She won USA State Wrestling as a ninth grader and set GHSA State history last year with the first pin ever in the girls' tournament. But she has no qualms about taking on the boys. Man, your guy got beat by a girl, tough. Like, I wrestle like the rest of you. I put in work with like the rest of you. Um, a lot of it is, I know I do jujitsu, so it's like if I really want to choke any of y'all, you would all be unconscious. <laughs> She gets her warrior spirit here at Milledgeville Academy of Mixed Martial Arts. I'm attacking this one, so we come around. Her dad, Frank, owns the place and teaches jujitsu, Muay Thai, and other fighting styles. It's here she hopes to launch a professional fighting career, but Pomp wasn't so sure at first. By the time she was in the eighth grade, that's still what she wanted, and she and I were talking because, you know, I didn't want her to get punched in the head for a living, you know. And so we talked, and she said this was her dream, and I said, well, if it's your dream, let's make it happen. Catherine is the only of Frank's four girls to pick up the sport, and it's created a special bond. It's what I've loved forever. I mean, even before I was allowed on the mat, because I'd always see my dad doing it, and, you know, I've really connected with him over it. And that's brought us closer together. As I said, at times there's tension um, because it's kind of hard for any parent not to try to live through your kid. Frank is involved, but leaves much of Catherine's training to others. He's content with watching her on the mat, knowing one day she'll be on the biggest stages of martial arts. But I want to be up there. I want to be in the world of MMA. Um, and that's what I want to do with my life. That's who I am. Now, I'm a pretty mild-mannered guy, never been in a fight in my life, but Catherine Mullis still took the time to teach me a thing or two. If you want to see that, a breakdown of some of her moves and what her professional fighter trainer has to say about her UFC ceiling, look for this story on 13WMAZ.com. 